Hello guys, I hope you are fine and uh, you are in the learning mood. So, by the way, uh, if you don't watch the previous videos, then do so. The link of the videos uh, also will be in the description and also showing on the right hand side of the screen. So, let's start this video. What is the horizon? So, um, there is uh, also a huge benefit to the horizon. So, what is the horizon? Um, the horizon is simply uh, you wrap your uh, any app, uh, not any app, but some apps uh, you wrap your any app uh, in the image, in the uh, inside the image, and uh, I mean um, you add your image in some uh, you add your code app code in some image, not in some image, but uh, by creating a new new image. Uh, that image is just for all. Uh, just a more to run your code. Um, I have an example. I hope you learn from it. Suppose you are doing some work, and if you are doing and, uh, some application and uh, other thing, and uh, you want to, uh, to show to client, but it is in, still in development mode. So client is not a developer or not expert and don't have skills. So the uh, installed the uh, dependencies and uh, softwares and uh, etc etc. So you just need to uh, dockerize or containerize your application by uh, creating a new image from that app, app, and after that put the app on the store. Uh, I mean in Hacker Hub, and after uh, from there client will download the image by using the Docker software. And Docker software is not too much hard. Then they will pull and simply start a new container from that image application started on the uh, system without doing any hard efforts to install and install dependencies and etc. So it's pretty easy. So benefits of the using the as I said, your portability and fastness, and uh, the benefit as I told you in the previous example, it gives an awesome portability and fastness. Let's do some practical stuff. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to uh, containerize or uh, dockerize your uh, Node.js application. So let's go. Um, this is my uh, Node.js application. I opened it uh, in the VS Code. If you don't know about VS Code, VS Code is an awesome uh, editor for developers. Okay, this is a basic server. Server that you use the main file to run a server. And uh, here's the second file. Uh, package edition. You need to know read it. Me dot and is just for the GitHub. Nothing else. Uh, you don't need to uh, know about this. Uh, I get, uh, this is the Git file. The main thing only what you have to uh, learn is to uh, not to uh, create servers because this tutorial is not for creating servers. This is about Java. So uh, to make a new image from your app. So you need to uh, make the Docker file in the root folder of your app. I already created. Okay. Okay. So type Docker file. Docker file. You don't need to uh, add any extensions. Uh, you just simply have to uh, make the D capital and uh, type Docker file. That is should be uh, small. And Enter because I already gave you so that's why it's showing me. Okay, here's the file. Here is not a code. If you have to, but then you can think it's a code. No, 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 not do so. Uh, this is not a code to put instructions. The instructions to Docker is how to O and uh, in what shape to view the image. Uh, there are the add, add instruction, and if you will learn uh, more proceed in the Docker and DevOps, you will have more instructions. Maybe if you proceed, okay. So the first instruction, that's the Docker that the base image. Okay, this is uh, another thing you have to uh, know that uh, when you want to create a new image, you have to set some set some official and official uh, uh, other image as a base image. Base, base of the new image. You have to uh, set some base. Whether you can use your other uh, uh, image or some uh, other person's images, it's up to you. But you have to uh, use some uh, other image. And uh, after the instructions is according to that uh, image, you have to know that. 
Okay, after that, uh, I put colon, a space, uh, and uh, here I mentioned the tag. We need this node, colon, tag, this is the base image we specify, and this is the in the Yami environment. Uh, we tell that the image is uh, not for the open, but for production. Uh, make the as uh, image uh, uh, in the production environment and the child instruction is work directory we tell that inside our image our work directory is uh, slash user slash source slash app on and the net, uh, in the next line copy copy the package to json package dash uh, log to json npm shredding driver json and other things which exist in the app code to the a work directory uh, it doesn't copy, but it uh, has some idea to what to copy. After that, we run the command npm install space test production. Uh, these are the, uh, just the instructions. You don't need to uh, uh, too much know about them. So this this instruction you need to understand that. And inside the image, the app dependencies are installed through this command. After this, copy again copy. This copy is just uh, use the Docker and idea and uh, some app code is copied. But this copy it has Docker that uh, this declaration code copy separation code in this in this URL in this image in this folder which exists in our image and is copied. App dependencies installed already. So what you have to do now? Uh, expose expose our app into the 8000 port port number 8000 after that we can run the command and pin start when this command runs uh, inside a package of json node is a server.js our app is started i mean a node.js server or you can say the app is started so as you see during the images uh, images video as you see during the images video uh, that um, inside the images there are layers and inside the layers there are files so what's layer another other the first instruction is mix layer because this is the base image it will keep a, a new layer and sub uh, OS layers files etc etc not a full blown OS and uh, the second instruction uh, is not mix a layer this is only uh, some information, so it will add in the metadata of an image. After that, we specify the work directory, so it's uh, maybe also the uh, metadata. And after we copy, this is the and this will create the um, layer because it contains because uh, it is um, the pattern in Docker. And after that, when we run npm install and uh, this uh, other archive in the past, then a new layer, also new layer created, uh, which exists all our dependencies. And after that, um, maybe uh, on this session, a new layer created or some metadata uh, will be added. So after that, this will uh, add in metadata 7 number, line on 7, expose. It have that expose our node app on 8000 port. It, uh, this information will add, uh, will add in uh, metadata of an image. You can see the metadata of any image by some command. Okay, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, after that, it gives the instruction. Uh, it will not uh, add the base layer maybe. Uh, so, the command uh, to know the metadata of an image is what images we have now this is the uh, normal uh, CM, uh, uh, you can think it is a cmd but it's uh, integrated uh, terminal with vs code you can open your cmd or terminal whatever else, uh, you are using open according to that I type local images come on the same for all of us i have these three images hello world okay so i show you also alpine Docker image inspect and now what you should type is I'll find and specify the tag which is edge as I said you 
and for yeah, this the meter data, and uh, here the layers ID. You can see it, but maybe you don't have any work to see them. Here's some metadata. Yeah, here's some metadata of this image. I'll find. Now we can see the node and uh, no uh, hello dash wall. The metadata is same, not the same, but different. Okay. Yeah, the uh, more 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 information about the image. So this close. I hope you learn more uh, how a Docker file is organized and how to write it. If you're using another base image, you have to uh, write the instructions accordingly. These instructions will not work if you uh, use the another uh, base image. Base image is here. Okay. Now our new uh, image is not created up till now by uh, our code. So what we have to do now is to um, write this command. Docker image world dash t and what we have to do oh, now is to specify the name I said hello dash wall no I said hello and the tag is now to start okay what this command is you have to go open your command prompt in the main folder okay Wait a minute. This is the main folder. Uh, no, this is the main folder where my app access. You have to open your uh, command prompt in this uh, folder and uh, do the A actions what I am doing now. So, um, this command has the docker that we have to build the image by using the instruction which exists in the docker file and here we have to specify the name of our image and after a column we have to specify the tag of the image we have to use and after that we have to add the space and after the dot it has the docker that which type to it have to use to create a new image by create a new image so it uh, it will uh, uh, find the docker file so now press enter we have to put the dot and open the uh, command prompt in the main um, folder with the docker file is now press enter now uh, note colon and point eleven dash alpine images don't exist in a local repository so it is downloading from the registry into a local uh, registry it will take time and see it step number one is performing first the step is done four then five ten and now the dependencies are now storing Then, awesome. Now let's check our image access in a local local repository or not. Lack of backup in that uh, images. Sorry, local images. Here, you can see the hello. Tag them down. Image ID here to seventeen seconds ago, seven point seven MB. Okay, what have to do now to we have to start a new container from it. We can start uh, multiple containers, thousand containers from a single image. So let's do it. Now, um, uh, container uh, dash t dash t um thousand eight thousand hello thou awesome. Okay. 
what is going on to do is to write the docker that uh, we want to start a new container we want to start a new container and this uh, dash d we used is uh, dash d to uh, have the docker, docker that uh, we want to open this container in the background right in the background so our shell so our current um, bash terminal or your terminal cmd will not uh, will not uh, locked right uh, will not freeze so it will run in the uh, background and after that we have a docker that uh, by using the dash p that we have to run our application on the 5000 port and after a colon we get to the 8000 you can see that uh, both ports why okay uh, the first port is uh, accessible by you I mean, when you open your browser, you can uh, access the app on that port, the first port. On the first, by using the first port, you can access your application if your container is running. And the second port, why do you second port? Second port, on the second port, the our container is running inside the Docker. Uh, this, uh, this port is not accessible uh, to us, I mean the second port, because uh, on that port, the container is running and this is a true no security task. Uh, running in security by Docker. So when we uh, make a request on 5000, I mean the 5000 port, uh, it uh, the port uh, map uh, the port uh, map onto the uh, 8000, uh, with the port of uh, container. And after that, uh, we specify the image name, and after that colon, and after that uh, we specify the tag name. Of our image. Now press enter. Okay, now uh, check that what are any containers. Uh, our container is started or not? As you see, it, our container is. There are other containers I started recently, but the one we started is here. As you see here. Here is the container we just started now, 10 seconds ago. Okay, uh, here's the port you can access through. If you uh, you are in the in Linux or Mac, you have to access the uh, app uh, through this uh, um, uh, through this technique 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.4 zeros with dot and after a colon and 5000. And in Windows, you can access uh, through a local host. Let's access our app local host. Uh, 5000 because our app is running on 5000. Here we go. Our app is started. Uh, this is basically a Node.js app. And uh, if you can't use the Docker technology, you have to install the Node.js and do some settings. And use some uh, small settings. After that, your app will run. Uh, will, will be a run. But without installing the uh, Node.js and doing some, uh, installing some dependencies, all was done by the docker itself through the instructions we just uh, create the image and use it okay you can uh, share this image to the uh, hub to docker.com and then when you can uh, start a container from it okay uh, this is pretty simple so if we want to start a new container what have to do we have to uh, okay, on the second port, on the second, the port is 8000. You have to uh, set the port which is written here. I mean the expose. The exposes are app on the 8000. So, it should be 8000. If you uh, type uh, uh, 2000, then you have to type uh, the here 2000, not other things. So, you have to take care about it and the server to js file I also typed 8000 right and uh, uh, we can access through the 5000 port but all the game was uh, playing on the 8000 so if you want to start a new container you have to change the port of uh, on a physical machine and uh, you say 4000 or you can uh, say 9000 you can use 19000 um, but the second port will be the same Right, you yeah, don't have to change the second code. Press enter. Our app is started on the 90,000 code. 
uh, Stalker PS. As you see, it here to seven seconds ago and up five seconds ago. Two minutes gap, and uh, our app is running. Let's check it. Look at the highest uh, 19 present survey. I missed the zero. No, our app is started. And if you're following on the next, you have to paste this URL in your browser and press enter. Okay. Now, you congratulations, you have and have to continue or dockerize your application, you know this application, if you want to uh, dockerize or continue your unique application, other types of application, you have to search in Google, and also on YouTube, there are some other videos that are awesome, that teach you how to uh, continue the uh, other types of app, right? So, I hope you, uh, uh, you now have um, something in mind that how it's working and etc etc. So, Let's uh, stop our containers. Stop uh, C7, the ID C7, and F6. Here we go. The container is stopped. It is stopping. As soon as they will stop, maybe they are not available. When they will go to access it, they are not available. Here you can see it. The site can be reached. Also, because uh, because we st uh, uh, stop the container, if you want to start uh, uh, start the container, you simply start and ID or name of your containers. Press enter. Now reload. Okay, okay. C7 started. Um, it is starting. Okay, one container is started in the seconds also. You can remove the container uh, without stopping it by uh, just type the uh, RM. Uh, you can remove the container by just uh, typing the space RM space the ID. You don't need to type the container, but it's your choice and dash F flag. You have to uh, Type this flag. You have to uh, type this flag dash f to tell the docker that the container is running or not. I have to uh, remove it. Force it to remove it. Press enter. The container is running, but it is removed. Okay. Now remove another container, which is f6. Docker rm f6. Uh, and uh, if you don't uh, add the dash f flag, flag, then see what happens. This gives us a error for the container. You cannot, uh, you cannot remove our running container because our container is running. You don't want to stop it. The best practice is, is stop the running container and then delete it. But if you uh, want to delete it, uh, if it's uh, running, then you have to uh, put the dash f flag. Right? Dash f. It is now deleted. Uh, as you see, dagger P is, uh, uh, the other containers which is running that I was uh, started at previous, not uh, in this video. So, fine. I hope you learn how to drop a wise. And I uh, hope you learn something from this video that I have made. I hope uh, your time was passing uh, fine. You learned something. Thanks for time. For now, bye.